morning. Thank you for having me back. Oh, it's so lovely to have you back because your life has changed significantly mm. since the last time we spoke, mainly yes. because you're a daddy now. I am a daddy now. It's uh, she, There is a slim chance that Ada and Lucy are sat in the living room right now watching. So. Slim. Hello. I, I think they're definitely watching. Morning. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> um, Morning, Ada. But, uh, that, that, that's so mad, having that moment. Because, I, I, you know, when Ada was very small, weeks old, we'd sit, we would genuinely sit and watch BBC Breakfast. Does she, she like she, it? No, she was fast asleep. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgive me. She was in my arms, just gone. But um, she's nine months old now, and uh, she's wonderful. It's amazing, and it's, it's mad. I sort of live this life where I, 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 have, I get to and I have to go away and travel, and I get, I get to do the thing that I adore. But now I have this other thing that I absolutely adore, and she's got to stay at home. Hopefully one day we'll be taking her on tour a bit more. It's hard, isn't yeah. it, getting that balance? Absolutely, and we're, we're barely even at the sort of tip of the iceberg of that. So uh, we, she's been to a rehearsal, uh, and she was great with her little ear, ear headphones on. She's been to um, a sound check, and she hated that. Oh, So we're going to yeah. try and sort of land in the middle next, yeah. and sort of just sort of be, yeah, into it. And how hopefully. has... That change, that big change in your life, been reflected in your writing, your well, work? Well, it's an interesting one because Ada wasn't born yet. When I finished this album, when we sort of finished mixing it finally and all of that stuff, uh, it was right before she was born. But obviously for nine months of that, I knew she was on the way. So it started, I think, to affect the writing. But I know going forward, one way or another, it's going to affect how I make... Oh, there's her little fingers. There you go. I, was, I think that was like the day after she was born or something. So she's got slightly bigger fingers now, but only slightly. <laughs> Still very right cute. In thinking when you, when you were writing this latest album, you were already heading in a different direction. You'd been going through a bit of yeah. a crisis of confidence, is that right? I, I had, and this was 2019, so that mm. was sort of, it was, obviously the pandemic has thrown up all sorts of obstacles for everybody emotionally, psychologically, and, and, and in many other ways. But 2019 was a strange year for me. It was an exciting year. It was the same year that I was out touring. I, I was taken away on tour uh, by Ed Sheeran for a few months, which was amazing because it was like football stadiums. It was incredible crowds. But I was dealing with, yeah, a, a, a confidence crisis, uh, some anxiety and insecurity. I didn't know. I felt directionless. And I was writing a lot of songs to try, kind of as a therapy, to sort of deal with that. Um, I'm just so excited to have another album out in the world. And why do you think you had that crisis of confidence at that point? I it's a tough one to break down, given we've only got a few minutes. But um, it, I, I just, I, I just, I'm trying always as an artist to evolve, and I'm trying to push boundaries one way or another in, in within what I do. Um, and I wasn't, I just didn't have a clear view of how that was going to go, um, which sometimes I guess I understand now in hindsight is the way. But there was a few different things at play, like I say, various things. I, I, I won't go into sort of full detail on some of it, but I was just, I was just losing my way. And through, uh, like I say, the therapy of writing. And then also uh, Lucy, my partner, who um, we've been together for a very long time. Um, and she has always found her ways to sort of hold me up in these difficult moments. So I certainly, I will say, I've, I've written a lot of this music in celebration of her and our time together and as, as a little bit of a tribute, definitely. And sometimes a lot of artists will say you do have to hit rock bottom in order to bounce off again and, and like you say, be caught by the net. Yeah, yeah, it, it's interesting. I, I suppose, you know, I, I, I love this life that I get to have as, as an artist touring and recording and, and um, it comes with so many highs. And maybe it's natural that between those there are some pretty deep lows. I'm, I'm trying to understand that these moments like this, chapters like the one I was having in 2019, they might come back, mm. but I'm getting better at dealing with them. And it's not just writing, there's all sorts of different, you know, therapy is a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing that I, that I believe in. Um, and just talking, and it, it took, um, the writing of this took an extra sort of level of vulnerability that I'd always been kind of afraid to put into my writing. I, I, I've been more direct in the lyrics than ever before. There's a line in, in this song, One Life, I've only got one life and I want you in it. How did you react to that? Um, but when we sort of came through... Well, have the absence of it for oh, such a sustained period. The absence of it was, was very intense because, yes, me and a lot of people who do what I do, um, it's a huge part of our year, our week, our month, our lives. So uh, having it kind of taken away was intense. It was interesting, actually. One of the things that I did... Social media is a, is a, a crazy place, but it has brilliant sort of... There's brilliant parts to it, like the interaction I can have with my fans, the sort of direct conversation, dialogue that I can have with them. So I was doing these like online guitar lessons where I'd sort of break down how I play my songs and show loads of guitar players out there how, how to do it and some covers. Um, and it actually, that, was a, that really sort of helped carry me as an artist, feeling like I still, there was still an audience to sort of be Because you didn't really with. stop then. I yes. tried not to stop in that yeah. respect. And it's cool how that has inspired these guitar lessons that we're going to do. Um, at, it's at Fender in London. Um, we're going to uh, 
sit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's like, it's like competition men's are gonna come in and we're gonna be there in the room together talking about playing guitar. And away from music, I know you love football. Do I you do. get home to watch much? Uh, do I? Do you get home to watch much? <sighs> Not anything like as often as I would like to. And I'm a massive Newcastle fan. And we're in a pretty good place, it seems, at the moment, just as far as like transfer market and all that stuff. You know, we've got a nice team coming together. The future is looking bright, dare I say it, touch wood. But, um, <laughs> I do. I, I, I try. I try and go to games. I see. I see more Newcastle away games because I'm living in London. But um, so I try and catch as much as I can. Uh, but I don't get to it enough. Uh, I try and play as much as I can as well. But actually, sort of dad life has taken a little bit of that away. Try but I can play. Take... Have you forced Ada into a miniature black and <laughs> You know and white what? She's got. This, she's, she's, <laughs> yes. Good. The answer I, 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 I confess is yes. I was. My publisher sent me a little baby Newcastle kit, and uh, that was a very good moment. Ada didn't look interested at all. <laughs> Um, but, she, but yeah, she's got this little rainbow ball that she's starting to... She's, she's using her feet with that more than her hands. I like this. Also, with the 8-0 win last exactly. night... Exactly. I was going to say, did you watch that? I That's didn't get to see that. I didn't get to see that either, but I saw, I saw all the highlights and I was like, OK, I need, to show, I need to show Ada this. She's nine months old. She won't have a clue. No pressure, Ada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll cool down. <laughs> Best of luck with the album. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited that it's out there and I'm and, looking forward to it. And good luck with the tour. Thank you very much. It's, it's, it's finally, we're back to a busy year of tour life. Uh, later in the year, November, I'm touring all around the UK. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait. And most importantly, best of luck being a dad. Thanks very much. <laughs> the I'll biggest let you know how job. it goes. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and James's third album is called Leap, as we mentioned. Leap and the net will appear. Yeah. Don't you love that? Uh, his tour starts on the 20th of November in Bournemouth. and relatable pop rock and folky songs make them prime material for all age groups and musical tastes. And the proof is in the pudding, as this guy, who's still only 31, has clocked up Grammy nominations and Brit Awards along the way. He looks and sounds like a throwback to old school rock and roll, which is really my kind of jam. I also like the fact that he hasn't saturated his output, and he's kept his audience wanting more, just two albums since 2014. And now he's back with another new single ahead of the third album, Leap, which is due out in July. This single is called One Life, and as I flicked it on, unlike some of the previous single reviews I've done recently, this one didn't need to grow on me. I was sucked into the narrative of the song and went along for the ride on the very first spin. Sonically, it sounds great with James's trademark acoustic guitar, and production-wise, it's obviously very slick. I mean, it was recorded in the current home of music. Nashville, so no surprise there. But I didn't know what the song was about before I listened to it. By two or three listens, I fully got it. This is a song about a guy who lives the rock star life. The tours, the roads, the TV shows, the concerts. It's all big, big, big. But ultimately, what he craves and what he loves most is his little bubble at home with his partner Lucy and their baby daughter. 